Modern science now tells us a great deal about how brains are built in childhood. Did you know that early childhood experiences actually change our brains in ways that affect our health throughout our lives? We have a, a, a very kind of rich and um, rapidly growing science about um, early childhood development and particularly how early experiences affect long-term outcomes um, in learning as well as physical and mental health. And we also have a huge amount of, of new research that is helping us understand how adversity early in life and particularly the toxic stress that young children can experience gets into the body um, and actually affects the developing architecture of the brain. So experiences we have in our earliest years affect how our brains get built. That's important because the basic structures we develop as infants lay the foundation for more complex structures that develop as we grow. Just as a house needs a sturdy foundation to support the walls and roof, a brain needs a good base to support all future development. Positive interactions between young children and their caregivers literally build the architecture of the developing brain to provide a sturdy base for a lifetime of better health. On the other hand, if a child experiences a pile-up of negative experiences, such as abuse or neglect, and if no caregiver is there to provide support, a sturdy brain foundation may never develop. That can lead to lifelong learning difficulties and health problems, including addiction and mental illness. It affects the cardiovascular system, it affects the immune system, and so um, what this science is telling us is that we ignore the early years at our peril. It's amazing to think that the experiences we have in our earliest years can affect our health for a lifetime. Since strong societies are made up of healthy individuals, it's up to us as a community to make sure all kids have the kinds of nurturing experiences they need to build healthy brains and bodies.